you're watching The Ugly Inside, subscribe below. It's match day two in the Europa League on Thursday night against Hapoel Besheva, a long trip to Israel. Big shout out to the guys that have already made the trip over there. If you're watching over in Israel, don't forget to let us know in the comments below. But anyway, let's get down to business. I'm here to give you my predicted starting 11 to play Hapoel Besheva on Thursday night. I think there's going to be a degree of rotation to this squad, but I think it's going to be very similar to what played against Sparta Prague a couple of weeks ago. But in the net, Fraser Forster will unquestionably be playing this one. On Sunday, I felt that our fullbacks had an amazing game in the likes of sort of Cedric and Ryan Bertrand. But like I said, I think there's going to be some rotation. And I think Kuka Martina will get the nod for this one on Thursday night to play Happer well on the continent. And the theme continues alongside the centre-back. I think Jose Fonte will be rested and will be replaced by Mayu Yoshida. Perhaps not a popular choice by some of you guys that are watching the video. But I think Yoshida will get his chance to play on Thursday night. He had a... Quite a good game in the Sparta game a couple of weeks ago. And he'll be partnered by Virgil van Dijk, who had an amazing game, let's be honest, against West Ham. 15 clearances that I saw a stat. Uh, so I think he will undoubtedly be starting on Thursday in Israel as well. So to finish off the back four then, or back five, I think Matty Target will get the nod for this one. Although Ryan Bertrand, again, just like Cedric, had an had a absolute blinder against West Ham. Uh, Bertrand, of course, set up the first goal for Charlie Austin. But, like I said, I think there'll be a rotation in the squad and it will also give the chance to sort of rest the likes of Cedric and Bertrand uh, looking ahead to Leicester's game on Sunday. So Matty Target gets the nod for this one on Thursday. So in the base of the midfield then, uh, let's say Oriol Romeo will start this one. And again, another outstanding game on Sunday. Now it's been uh, quite significant in our form in the last couple of weeks, breaking up the play, bossing the midfield, giving that extra strong physical prints. And as we know, Israel is a notoriously hard place to go. And I think the presence in midfield from Oriol Romeo and perhaps some of the other lads that I'm about to announce will offer that, uh, that, extra, that extra dynamic to our game on Thursday. So, making up the rest of the central midfield, then I think our big Dane, Pierre Mulhoiberg, will start this one again. Another player that had an outstanding game, but it's hard to pick any faults from anybody that played on Sunday, let's be honest. But I think Pierre Hoiberg will play on Thursday night, give him a chance to play another game uh, in on the continent, and he, he will start against Hapoel on Thursday. Making up the rest of the central midfield then, I think it'll be James Ward-Prowse, scored from open play for the first time on Sunday against West Ham, and I think it's a tie between him or Jordi Classy, but, but on the basis that he scored against West Ham on Sunday, he will get the nod in my 11. In the number 10 then, it's only got to be Dusan Tadic, unquestionably being our linchpin all, all season so far has popped up with a goal again on Sunday and on that basis he's got a start as well. And to finish off with the forwards then, we saw Charlie Austin and Nathan Redmond make up the dynamic duo on Sunday and I think one of those guaranteed to play this game from the beginning has got to be Charlie Austin. He's got his shooting boots on, it's five in four games and hopefully he can score another one on the continent on Thursday night. So to finish off the 11 then, I think Nathan Redmond will be rested for this one. Again, another player that had a great game on Sunday, but he will be replaced by Shane Long. And hopefully he will find that one goal to really give him that confidence boost in a season that hasn't really gone his way so far. But nonetheless, he has tremendous energy levels and always gives extra effort to the team. And undoubtedly, he will be a star on Thursday. So that makes up my starting 11 then. Let us know in the comments below who would you select to play Hapoel Besheva on the continent in Israel on Thursday evening. Uh, let us know in the comments if you're already there, if you're watching from Israel. Uh, but for now, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more.